with a fragile ceasefire in place um, or change the dynamic in either of those conflicts. To think, Charles, that moments before, uh, earlier in the day, his defense secretary, Chuck Hagel, came out and said we could be looking at war between Russia and Ukraine as these troops are massed along the border and yet in the opening statement there was no statement and you know fortunately uh, Chris Jansing asked the question she asked and his answer was a demonstration of a word he loves extraordinary lethargy distance disinterest uninterest where he said you know well if Russia inv invades we're gonna look at the policy again and, he, and on sanctions he said well I'm not sure if it's working uh, he seemed to have zero interest in the issue and was willing to let events dictate. This is really unbelievable. This is Russia, the one country that can deter Russia is ultimately the United States. And we're just saying we're going to watch. If, they, if that isn't a signal to Putin that he doesn't have to factor the United States in his calculations, I don't know what is. He was equally as sort of lethargic and disinterested and detached in talking about Hamas. He has no sympathy for Hamas. His own State Department says it's a terrorist organization. He said the placing of weapons among the civilians is irresponsible. It's a bloody war crime. I mean, there's no passion, there's no interest, there's nothing behind it. You have to wonder why did he hold the press conference? I'm not sure that he advanced any issue at all other than to show adversaries, bad guys in the world, that you don't have to worry about this guy. He's going on vacation, he's grabbing the golf clubs, and he'll be gone for a month, and we'll see you when you come back. If Russia has taken over Ukraine, he'll deal with it when, when that happens. Styl Quickly. Stylistically, this is a guy who is an incredible writer when he's writing. Um, I'm stunned all the time by the passive voice he uses, which is very ineffective and sounds weak. For example, to say Hamas is extraordinarily ir irresponsible, frat boys are extraordinarily irresponsible. Hamas is a terrorist organization that's killing people. Words matter when you're trying to lead a country and try to lead a word, lead a world. I'm stunned by how poorly he uses them. A.B., quickly on uh, Capitol Hill, the prospect of this executive order seems greater probably tonight than it was la last night. Oh, yeah. Everyone on both sides expect him to take some action during this congressional recess on immigration. Ron is right. It will be a nuclear bomb going off, and um, he's trying to say that it will be legal. Um, and he's scouring his legal authority, but um, it is going to be politically um, very toxic.